Lemon lime, soda skies, lucky like a four leaf clover. Strawberry, slice of life, singing with a sip of nectar. Sweet like honey on a summer day, I'll stick with you through the wind and the rain. Sweet like honey on a summer night, like a busy bee. Hello, Chatted Dippy Mia, Dippy Rosie Dippy back here in the Rose Garden. Back in Peachy Cane for the first time in like two years. <laughs> Hello, I've got my little lucky doll with me. Uh, of which I'd like to brag because uh, for those of you who haven't been here since the dawn of time, uh, Lucky is my favorite villager in Animal Crossing. He's also a villager in my town. I love him very much. Uh, but upon he but my mom, my mom knew that I really liked the Animal Crossing series and asked me at one of the one day out of the blue asked me who my favorite villager actually was and I showed her I showed her lucky and she went to our friend who is a who does crochet projects and had this big boy made for me and I love him so very much oftentimes he's just hanging out on the futon but the, the futon broke <laughs> And we don't have a replacement yet, so the stuffies are not back in their place. So he's been hanging out in my room. But it's an Animal Crossing stream, so we have him here with us today, and I love him very, very much. Also, thank you, Loon, for the crab rave. I saw you, I heard you. It was a jumbled mess with the opening song, which is very funny to me, but I love it. Um, but yes, hello. Uh, I have started playing Animal Crossing daily again uh, since uh, mid-August, so it's only been about a month. It's only, not even a month. It's been it's been like about about two two or three weeks now. I've been playing Animal Crossing daily again. Um, I don't know if that is a good or bad thing, <laughs> considering how absolutely fixated I was uh, when I first played this, and uh, what was going on <laughs> during that time. We were all hyper fixated on Animal Crossing New Horizons, <laughs> but um, I'm back in it again. It's been fun. I've been really enjoying it. Um, right now is I'm fixated on the idea of there are two ideas I'm fixated on however uh, this one is going to be the slightly more entertaining option because <laughs> one is getting the golden axe which involves me uh, as my friends <laughs> as my friends in my in the Vox Nanith discord 
can testify. I have been whacking trees with flimsy axes for like the last three days <laughs> to try and get the freaking golden axe axe recipe to pop up. It has yet to pop up. I'm upset. Um, but also what I want to do is get the cast master level three uh, of which you need to consecutively catch 100 fish. That is all in a row without without reeling them in too early or without reeling them in too late. You have to catch 100 fish in a row. As of right now, my record has been 72 and that was accidentally done. That was done without paying attention and now I'm paying attention and I am keeping score. I'm up to seven. We need to reach 100. The reason why I am doing this today specifically also co coincides with the fact that CJ is on my island. Um, so without further ado, let's just hop on into Peachy Keen. It's bada beam bada boom. Uh, there are people here, probably, as I move Lucky over to the side. Uh, people here who probably haven't actually seen my island. Uh, welcome to Peachy Keen. Uh, love it a lot. Let's go through a little bit of an island tour. So I've got, I've got my airport here. The peach flag, of course, for Peachy King. We pop over here, we've got our opening lobby of this cute little seal fountain surrounded with Lily of the Valleys and Pink Roses. We've got Apple over there, we've got up here, we've got our uh, city hall. If you go off to the left, we have got uh, Nook's Cranny, along with some vending machines and an ATM if you need it, as long as well as just like a little sitting area. Well, just a little sitting area. I need to double check that that, yes, that was. Cool. Dino has alerted the people. If you go to the left and down, hello, Melba. We've also got Able Sisters. Uh, it's late, so it's closed. <laughs> We've got a little, a little craft area, a little laundry area. Showing off the clothes, uh, little 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 things, little things like that. Uh, if we go off to the left, we've got uh, trade deals for whenever I have friends over. I can put down DIY projects, and then they can trade with their own DIY projects. We've got the community farms. AKA my farms because I'm the only one that takes care of anything. Got a little little beach set up. Some surfboards if you feel like shredding the waves. <laughs> um up and over this way. We've got uh my rose nursery where Leaf has finally gotten uh, rose rose bags. So this is this is me trying to get that blue rose. I've yet to actually get the blue rose. I want the blue rose. I've been playing this game for years. I do. I've never had a blue rose. Um, if we go off over this away, we've got our little reading outdoor reading nook, our little outdoor bakery and cafe, our little campsite also. Over here we have the graveyard of villagers past. Anytime someone moves out, we get a new gravestone. It's a little cramped. Uh, might have to expand sometime soon, maybe not. Balloon. Balloon. Got it. What is this? What do I got? What do we got? Money? No, diner counter chair. Interesting. All right. <laughs> uh, if we go over this way, because right now this is just an island tour and then we'll get to the fishing. Hi, Diana. Uh, we have our first bout of neighborhoods. We've got Diana and Apple, of which I still need to actually decorate their spaces. I am so bad, I keep putting it off. We have Melba and um, Winnie. <laughs> Of which I have decorated their spaces a little bit. Melba's got a garden over here. She's got a little, little basket. 
a storage shed, which these have been the best, the best to have dotted around the island because you can just put things away. Up here we have Coco's house, and we also have Diva's house, and we got their little setups. The moon's looking pretty today. I gotta, I gotta get out. All right. We got our little rock garden here. We've got a cap and stock as well as a little bench with some lights. Um, I'm not gonna focus on the fishing yet because then I'll get too into it. I need a fo I need to focus on island tour. Up here, we've got a little bonfire powwow area. Powwow is the wrong word to use, my bad. Uh, a little campfire, just like a fun a fun area. Fun little get-together spot for anyone who wishes to. Up this way, we have our orchard. We've got our oranges. We've got our money trees. We've got our peaches, our apples, our cherries, our pears. A little bench. Ladders. This is where I keep, this is where I keep my turnips uh, while I've got while I wait for a good turnip price from the from the Nook Bros. If I decide to have anyone over that I don't trust, I can or or even if I do trust them, I can simply just pick this up and and build face that way. Boom. Now they can't get in here because only I can pick these fences up and not while they're here. <laughs> Down here we've got our little hidden beach area. Very nice. Red will also pop, pop by on occasion. He's the only one that comes down here. Um, I was about to just shortcut it, but I won't. Up this way, we've got my house, which the only way to get up here is through climbing vines, so it's very secluded. People still seem to come un unannounced. I don't know how they managed to get up here, <laughs> but they do. Uh, if we go around this away and just hop on over this mushroom stool, uh, this area gives very much just gives like enchanted forest vibes, and I love it. I love this area so much. Uh, over here we have our entrance to the museum where we've got several fossils and a few works of art that, shh, they're fake. <laughs> but no one needs to know that. I have another piece of art that's coming in tomorrow that might also be fake. If I do, it might replace this, it might replace the neon blue Rosetta Stone. We'll see, we'll see. Um, we've got our, I, I love the collectible sculptures. I wish that the fish models were bigger because this is a whale shark and an arapaima. Those are giant fish. I feel like they should be giant models. Cause look at the butterfly and the, cause look at the emperor butterfly and the Alice moth. These boys are bigger than I am. I felt like it should have been the same vibes, but these are just little guys. These are just little fellows. <laughs> Over here we've got where CJ's hanging out, we've got our flower gardens, where there's not actually any real, <laughs> real way to like, that I've coordinated them. A lot of them are grouped together and like, various, uh, what they are. Oh, over here we've got Lucky and Marshall, and we've got Pierce and Kabuki. And th that's our na that's our uh, second neighborhood. They're great people. Uh, we've got our other flower garden. And do we have anything going on down here? Over here, we've got my little work center for whenever I want to make things for the hot item, uh, but don't want to go to my house. Got a sand castle over here. And got another little bonfire set up. Melba's thinking. 
Uh, another thing we have is this little hidden, quote unquote, a little zen garden type area. Get. It's pretty, it's cute. I'm quite happy with how my island is. I haven't really been doing much work on it overall because I, I've just enjoyed it. Uh, so that's Peachy Cane. And now it's time to fish for longer than I should. And more seriously than I should too, probably. But I wanna reach 100, 100 fish. 100 fishies in a row. And this is either gonna be number eight or reset. That is a reset, okay, cool. I gotta scratch that off. All right. Let's find fish number one, ladies and gentlemen. Fish number one. That's one of the, that's one of the unfortunate parts about about doing this because the moment the moment one slips away it is just, it doesn't matter how many you had had before it all goes it all goes one i'm keeping i'm keeping tally track uh chat how have you been chat i hope you've been doing good today is labor day in america which means i didn't have to work which is why this stream is happening <laughs> Work has been killing me, guys. It's terrible. I know I'm gonna get the hang of it eventually. Um, it's it's just it's been like five years since I've had to work full time. Oh, I got a snapping turtle. Yeah, it's been it's been five years since I've had to work full time, and so working full time has absolutely wrecked me. I've already had uh, one meltdown. <laughs> uh <laughs> Didn't have it like actually at work though. I did, I did, I, I was able to wait till I got into my car. And even then it wasn't too bad. It wasn't until I actually got home and got to this office in which I like proceeded to melt down. Uh, but it was close. It was close and that's not a good sign. That's not like the best sign ever. But you know, when you need money in life, you do what you have to. And at the end of the day, <laughs> At the end of the day, I am a big girl who has been masking for most of her life, and I can continue to do so. <laughs> Even if it kills me, I can continue to do so. Oh, there's a fish here. I've got a... one. Okay, that was pure instinct alone. Let's go. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not like this is gonna be my forever job. And also, like, the first... Um, and I don't talk about it a lot, but, like, my work is in line with school districts. And so, like, that first... The first two weeks of getting everything, like, back in working order is always gonna be rough. It's always gonna be rough, and it's always gonna suck. And it's always going to be, like, a bad time. But after, once we get things rolling, once things are settled, I'll be fine. It'll be chill. I, I will be doing everything with my eyes closed. Because I'm very good at my job. I, I'm not the biggest fan of my job, but I am very good at my job. And I'm proud of that. So it'll be fine, eventually. It's just getting through that period of everything is on fire, including me. <laughs> it'll be okay, though. And then once, even better, is once that first paycheck hits, I'm gonna remember why I like, or why I work in the first place. I'm not gonna say why I like working. I don't like working. <laughs> at least, at least not currently. Well, no. I do like working. I don't like having to work full time. If I was to, if I was able to, you know, survive uh, <laughs> working part time, I would. I'd still be working part time, and it'd still be like going well. Uh, unfortunately, though, as I've mentioned before, I'm 26 now. I turned 26 last month, 
And so, uh, I technically no longer have health insurance. So that's fun. That's a fun in between time. Uh, hope nothing happens. Hope nothing happens before we figure out what, what that's gonna become. It's fine though, I don't really leave my house, so nothing's really gonna like go bad here. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. It was, a little, it was a little bit of a Debbie Downer, but it was one of those things where it's, if, if I don't joke, I will simply become irrepressibly anxious. Ah, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything will be fine. It's just one of those scary transitional moments in life. I think that was... Okay, now... Hey, good news, guys. We're back to seven. Um... It was, it was just because life has those scary transitional moments and that's fine not to say that it's not scary but everyone ha it always happens everyone's gonna go through it and you'll come you'll come out of it I'll come out of it I will make it through A-OK -okay in the long run no matter how scary it may be in the moment Ooh. Ooh. Nine. We got this. We're doing great. I am so excited for that paycheck to hit, though. Oh, I cannot wait to get a haircut. <laughs> it's gonna be glorious. I've got an undercut, guys, and it is... It's grown out. I need to get that buzzed. Bonk. Chat, we are officially a tenth of the way there. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, does that work? Yes. Locked on. One. Two. Got it. Got a seahorse, but where's a sea jockey? Haha. -ha. Horse racing joke. <laughs> I did not catch. Right. What do you mean? Ooh. Cast that line. Son of a biscuit, okay. Let's find fish number one. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? I'm not gonna get this done today either. I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to catch 101 go. Uh, but this is something that I fixated on today and if I wanted to stream anything, and if I wanted to stream anything, it was gonna be this. <laughs> okay. 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 That was... My thumb twitched and it hit the button. I love it when that happens. That's my favorite thing. Alright. Take three. A hundred fish and... A hundred casts. Let's go. One. Two. Three. A five biter. Wow, those are rare. Ah, uh, it's an angelfish. Makes sense. Alright. Fish number one in the back. It is getting chillier where I live. I am so upset. I, I, I don't know what I just, I don't know why I just did that. Uh, anyways, uh, it is getting chillier where I live. Thank heavens. I'm so excited for the moment I am able to bust out my hoodies and sweaters. I miss them. I miss them greatly. Bow. 
that's gonna be great. It's all, I've already got my window open. I haven't been able to do that in like three weeks. I have fresh air. Not that the air here is that great. <laughs> Not, that is a rock. I don't know if that counts. I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it. Cause I won that, I won that casting. So I'm counting it. Um, yeah, the air, air here is not like all that great, but it's nice to have fresh air every once in a while. Notice, it did not notice. That's too far out. Like that, there we go. Ooh, caught on. One. Two. Three. Four. Salmon. Nice. Alright, alright. Oh, chat. Chat, chat, chat. I've been doing... I've been getting back into reading, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, most of the books are just books that I had read in the past and remembered enjoying. Sort of in that way of trick of like reminding my brain, hey, remember how this was our entire personality for a majority of our growing up? <laughs> and it's been fun. I've been doing it on my iPhone because I don't. My iPad is too big to read on. <laughs> um, locked on, locked on, locked on. My iPad is too big to read on. Uh, my phone is chugging along. Love her to death. She's doing great. <laughs> uh, I am hoping that come the end of November, I'm able to get myself a Kindle. I'm very excited on that prospect. I've been planning. <laughs> I've been planning and researching and looking into things, and I'm very excited just in the prospect of that working out. Come on, fish. Take the bait. I took a little too long to to uh, reel that in. Thank goodness that was a sea bass. If, it, if that was anything trickier, that would have been gone in an instant. Uh, it's also been fun getting together with some friends and like trading book uh, book recommendations. And by trading, I mean uh, mostly my friends have been recommending books, and I have, I have done one recommendation, sort of. Uh, I, hmm, words. When I finished my latest book, uh, all of the other books I had been looking forward to are still on hold because I use the Libby app. Son of a biscuit. All right, fish number one. <laughs> Um, that's to say I've been using, I use the Libby app as, like, using the public libraries for ebooks. And so the books that I have on hold are still on hold. The lead, the, the one that I'm probably going to get, like, soon is two weeks out. And I've got one book that is six weeks out. <laughs> Alright, Piranha, we got it. What's my inventory looking like? It's fine. Inventory is fine. Fish. Wheel. You turn back around, mister. Uh, it's like, but it's been a while since I've like, quote unquote, perused the shelves. To try and figure out what I'd want to read rather than just uh, going back to a reread or having a friend recommend a book. But I did that recently on Libby and I found, I think it's one of a series, but it's called Oathbound and it's about a person who is like the main, one of the main characters is a person who has been sick, has been told that really her only cure for 
her only like chance of curing her disease is like some random tree nuts on a mythical island uh and lo and behold uh not crafting hold on i'm talking and trying to game at the same time and it's not working out for me uh but it's like lo and behold uh her friend who happens to be a pirate is searching for treasure on that exact mythical island so after years of saying that she won't go traveling with him at all uh she agrees to this one because it might be her one chance of living past the winter I missed. Uh, oh that was a that was a fast a fast bite and that was a soft shell turtle more sensitive than other turtles mm -hmm. um i'm only like a chapter and a half in like i haven't been i do most of my reading on my downtime at work ah son of a biscuit fish number one fish number one uh, i do it's like but i do a lot of reading on my downtime at work because the libby app uh, drains my battery uh lower or slower than any other app on my phone so it's been working out good but because of that i haven't been reading much this weekend but i'm excited to give the book a shot uh about a chapter and a half in like i said and so far it's not bad is it a bit early to say if i'm in love with the book oh yeah absolutely i need to be like at least two-thirds in before i can make that call and like I said, apparently it's one in a series, so I don't know how this, how it's gonna go. A lot of books I've been reading lately have just been like one-offs or the Fazbear Frights books. <laughs> Which, uh, Ribbon Eel was the one I needed, okay. Oh, we can get, we can take a coffee break later. Uh, but, hold on. Yeah, Cast Master to level three, apparently the, apparently, uh, 72 at one point. I don't know how I did that. I wasn't doing it on purpose. It's very funny though. I don't know if the book is like from an. I don't know if the series is like an ongoing series. Hold on, I can. I can kind of look. I still gotta do my. I still gotta do Duolingo. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that before midnight strikes. That'll be fine. Uh, but Oathbound by Victoria McCombs. Yeah, I'm seven percent in. So not super far. Uh, but it's been enjoyable. It's been interesting. I'm like getting a vibe for the characters. Apparently, one of the main characters' mom uh, was a uh, like. A well-known pirate, I guess, who drowned at sea, apparently. Yeah, and this is all things that you learn in like the first chapter, the first two, like within like the first chapter, chapter and a half, two chapters. Um, apparently, she has a brother who's still out in sea. <laughs> This is one of the thing, one of those things where it's like a lot of information getting tossed to you, so you can kind of have like some remnant of what the of who these characters are because you've never met them before. But it was vibing. I was vibing with it at least. It's interesting. I look forward to like reading more of it. Zebra turkey fish. I also, I also forgot to count the sea bass. But we're back up to three. We're back up to three. I'm thinking of maybe like joining in on a book club at some point. Not fully, but I know, uh, surprise, surprise, if you haven't caught on, uh, I am a fan of Tommy in it and his content. Uh, and in doing so, I've, I've, uh, 
I've seen his mom on Twitter, and I know I follow her on Twitter, and I know that she does uh, like book club Twitch streams, which is a neat idea. And so I might hop in on one of those one day. See what books they're reading. See if I want to keep up with it. Nothing too serious, but like. It'd be kind of fun to be like a part of a group. Maybe I can chat with some of my, you know, actual friends <laughs> and see if they want to do some sort of like book club thing going on. It'd be fun. I also worry that I just, you know, fail and get sad about it. But that's kind of just how my life is. <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the energy all the time because I'm disabled and neurodivergent. And so I feel like I've been a failure. But we've all been there. We all know that that's just our brain lying to us. What? That was such <laughs> Okay. That was such a fast bite. It bit, I hit the button and it said no. No. Actually. Not at all. Oh well. That fish ain't seeing me. That fish ain't seeing me. Whew. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. Soft shell turtle. Ooh. It's fine, we're making our way back over to CJ, so we'll be able to sell off our inventory here pretty quickly. Erm. Catch that fish. It's locked on. One. Two biter. That's a tilapia. Of course. It makes me happy, yeah. Bonk. And bonk. Hello. A green balloon. Interesting, interesting. Hey, CJ, fishinista. I have not picked a name for my angler sona yet. I'm so sorry. Buy my fish, please. Bonk, 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 bonk. Doesn't want to buy my stone. How rude. I fished it up. It should count. Whole, a whole school of them. 62 sold. Why did my fingers start throbbing? Hello. He's such a little influencer. I love him. CJ and Flick are fantastic NPCs that I'm so happy they were introduced. Fantastic, love them to death. That was a quick fight. And that wasn't even a salmon. That was a salt that was a turtle. What's the turtle doing in the mouth of the river? That's where the salmon hang out. <laughs> I don't want a turtle. Are you kidding me? We've got our floating moon rock. It's just vibing, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, books. I've been enjoying them again. It's been fun. I've missed that side of me that really liked reading, and so I'm glad to uh, be meeting with her again. I've missed her. One, two. So I I did that to myself. I did that to myself. But yeah, apparently. Uh, Apparently August and September was just me refinding old loves between uh, reading and Animal Crossing. And I'm kind of here for it. There's things that gave me such joy at some point that I just got burnt out over. And now it's just here. Have fun again. And I am. It's been great. I missed them. Uh, but 
something away. This rock. Uh, I do also need to pop on over here. Let's go this way. Uh, oh. Plaza, a hundred bells. Hundred thousand bells, let's make that clear. I am such a millionaire here in Peachy Keen, and I wish... If I, let's just say, if I had to pick any video game to live in, it would be Animal Crossing. It's just, it's so cool. It's so fun. All of your neighbors love you. They're all furries, and that's fine. It's great. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. I never have to worry about money anymore. I've got all the energy in the world. I can carry so many things in my pockets. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's just like the perfect life. You can connect with friends and visit them. I have visited my friends in Animal Crossing more than I've vi more than I've visited them in real life. So yeah, that's, it's a win for me. <laughs> oh, the girls are chatting. Clothes always look très chic, Diana. They must be so expensive. Not at all. Even I've been no even I've been known to, as they say, hunt for smartly priced items. Smartly priced? I don't think anyone says that. Anywho, if I buy cheap clothes like you, I'll look. If I buy cheap clothes like you, I'll look fashtastic? Of course not. You can't simply copy what I wear. There's a trick to it all. Can you guess what that trick might be, hashtag? Uh, yeah. Find colors that work? Absolutely. If you wish to look lavish, I highly recommend muted colors. Monochrome and symbols are greatly are great too, as long as you accent them with contrasting colors. Of course, the most important thing is to find colors that work for you. Just pay attention to that and you too can look extravagant. I'm more into cutesy fashion right now, but a change of pace could be fun. Thanks for the tips. Indeed, fashion should be about making a statement. I'm here and I'm gorgeous. That, dear, is the true secret to high fashion. <laughs> I love my little island man. Great. Fish. Um, when we patch, pass by this next crafting table, I should. A uh, crafting bench, I should say. Workbench. It's a workbench. This isn't Minecraft. I need to customize my fishing rod so it doesn't break because Nook Cranny is officially closed and I don't feel like making fishing rods. Obviously I will if I need to, but let's try to not need to. That's why I've got customization kits in my pocket right now. Um, let's go with green for the fun please. <laughs> Done for now. Fish out here? Nope. Ooh. Click snap. Pull that fish in. Horse mackerel. Talk about a smack roll. I don't remember what it actually says. Hold on. We'll get another one eventually. We're gonna be fishing for so long tonight. I'm. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, tonight. Today was great. I got to sleep in. 
I forced myself to sleep in, I should say, which probably isn't like much better than actually sleeping in. Uh, but I knew that I needed that extra bit of sleep. And so I took it by force. Ooh, ooh. Bonk. Zero protect your fish, land air, water, make up your mind. Now it's, I don't even, as far as like, as far as like my job goes, I get to wake up later than most people and I'm not taking that for granted, but it's still way earlier than I would like to wake up. If I had it my way, I'd just wake up every day at like 9 or 10, 9 or 10 a.m., get my day going, stay up to like 2 or 3 a.m., and then pass out. And it'd be right. Bite the hook already, please. Thank you. Salmon. Caught a salmon. As some may say. Uh, they're wrong in saying that. The L is silent. Uh, coming at you from someone who was raised in the Seattle area. Salmon runs were some of the funnest times I've ever had. Not really, but it was real cool watching those fish and looking at them all. Ooh. I saw a flash. I saw a flash of a glitch. Whoa. To be fair, I played on... I forgot that it was Monday and I forgot that it was a stream day. And so I was playing through the capture card a whole lot today. And so it hasn't had had like the rest it need but like I said I was I've just been fixated fixated on trying to catch a hundred fish in one go oop oop <sighs> got him uh, me without my tiny riding crop get it because it's saddled like a horse. Aha! Oh, that was so fast. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh no. It's just a black bass, though, so it's okay. It's fine. Most metal of all fish. Alright, I need to find this angle. There. There. Nice. Another black bass. Most metal of all fish. I know that sharks are available at this time. And I just need one more hammerhead before I can get myself a collectible. And I really want a hammerhead collectible. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. 5,000. Nice. Ooh. Ah, that was me. That was, that was my bad. I wasn't. Goodness gracious. Get out of here, bugs. Where's that gonna land? Nowhere close, so it's fine. One, two, biter. Also, just look at the jaws on the salmon. Great. So cool. Alright, alright, alright. I'm trying to think of uh, a 
things to talk about, but my brain kind of just be going uh, fish mode only. So it might just be vibe time, in which uh, streamer doesn't say much. Or in saying that, might have just triggered a uh, streamer talk mode, in which I talk a lot about absolutely nothing out of fear of being a bad streamer. Goodness gracious, okay. That's fine. At the very least, we are making bank tonight, folks. We be making bank. Alright, alright, alright. And fish. Notice me. Nope. There it is. Ooh. No, really? Not even a little? All right then. Interesting. There it goes. Locked on. Got him. Target spotted. Soft shell turtle. Neato. Not bad. Hmm. Things to talk about. We are one month, a month and a half out from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And the second trailer dropped the other day. I'm so excited. I have no idea what the movie's actually gonna present itself as. But I am definitely going to. I am definitely going to go dress for the attire, whether that is sort of like a weird sort of closet, clos closet cosplay of one of the characters, or if it's more of the I get merch for myself to wear at the movies. Uh, I'm excited. I'm so absolutely excited for this movie. It's one of those things where I wonder if I should ask ask any of my friends if they want to go with me or understand that I am not going to be normal in the slightest and just go on my own. <laughs> I was like, either way, I'll be fine. Oop. Oop. Come Because no one in my life is... No one in my life is as into Five Nights at Freddy's as I am. So I would just be very, very abnormal in the theater if I were with friends. If I'm by myself, I can like at least keep it to myself. But if I am with friends who are prompting me to like speak, <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna make a fool of myself. I'm gonna be just a, a dork. I'm gonna be such a dork. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the movie. I wanna see it opening day. I never see movies opening day. I wanna see Five Nights at Freddy's opening, like opening day. I wanna go to like a midnight showing. I don't know if they're gonna have any in my town. I hope they do. We've got like a nice theater near me. Got, I'm like within driving distance of like a couple of nice theaters. But we've got, but like the one that's like closest to me is Noise. Which is another reason why I think I might want to go alone. Because a lot of my friends live in like the next town over. And so they all want to go to the theater closest to them. Um, but I want to go to the theater closest to me. And so, so I might just, I might just like go alone at first. And then if others want to also see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie again, I will simply just watch it again. I think that'll be my plan. Because then I get to have my cake and eat it too. And it'll be fantastic. Oh my god, I hope they have- I hope they have popcorn buckets. Popcorn buckets that's just like Freddy's head. Like... 
<laughs> I hope they have. I hope they have memorabilia popcorn buckets. I really do. I don't know if they will because I don't know how big the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is gonna be like promoted. I saw I saw a movie poster last time I went to go see the Barbie movie and I was so excited. And it's one of those things where like I, <laughs> I saw my mom just giving me like a look of are you okay? <laughs> when I took <laughs> She's also very supportive in my weirdness and I love her to death. Um because when she had given me that look, it's because I was sad that I had missed it on the rotating posters. But also, on our way out, she started. She hadn't realized that I had taken a selfie with a poster like closer to our actual theater. So when we were heading out, she went back to like the the post the rotating posters to try and make sure that I could get it. And it was so sweet, and I love her so much. She doesn't watch my stream, so she's not gonna know I'm gushing about her. But I love her. My mom's the greatest. We have our differences, but she's the greatest. I love her so much. Very sweet. I'm definitely gonna be an absolute fool when I go to see the movie, though. Uh, hot Topic, I saw. My friend is also very big into Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, but my friend also, but said friend, doesn't live near me in the slightest. And so they... <laughs> They've sent me TikToks about how Hot Topic has uh, Five Nights at Freddy's merch right now, and it is the worst time to be broke ever. It is the worst time to be broke ever. I gotta convince myself to not immediately go to Hot Topic once my first paycheck hits, just, just for the Five Nights at Freddy's merch. I'll get it. I'll get the merch one of these days. I'll get the merch. Maybe it's not this immediate next paycheck, but maybe the, maybe, maybe the paycheck afterwards. It'll be fun. And I might just wear the merch to go to see the movie. Fish, look at my bobber. Look at my bobber. It's, it's, it's all pretty and dancing for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I saw it glitching out of the corner of my eye. Uh oh. I'm also realizing it looks a little choppier. It looks a little choppier on stream than it does. Noticed? Noticed? There it is. Locked on. One. Two. Three. Four. Got it. I'm so excited about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I'm not normal. I'm not normal in the slightest. I, I, I need it now, honestly. But also I don't because I need to be able to spend money on this movie. <laughs> Oh, I've also just realized I'm not gonna be home. I'm not gonna be home when the Five Nights at Freddy's movie hits. I'm gonna be house sitting for friends. So if I do a midnight showing, I might actually not want to do the one closest by my house. But I also might because I'm just that kind of person. It's like I also just might because. The theater by my house is better than the one by their house. In my opinion. It's not fact. Any friends who may see this, who know which theaters I'm talking about. <laughs> Either way, I don't know if I'd even be able to get the tickets for a midnight showing. But even if I did, I'm young enough to survive that. Because it's coming out all okay. Hello, I bring out my actual physical calendar. Um, is it September right now? October. Is it coming out on the 30th? Or is it coming out actual 31st? And either way. Oh, 
hold on, hold on. Either way, I'll have work, so I can't do a midnight showing. But I can do... <laughs> This has become important. I need to double check when the movie's action. What? 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 The release? We'll see. Uh, hold on. Five. Fire. Five Nights at Freddy's release date. The twenty Friday the twenty seventh. I can go to a midnight showing and still be fine the next day. <laughs> I might. I might miss. I might miss this. I might. I might miss an early morning meeting that I might have on a, on, on a Saturday, but sometimes sacrifices must be had for the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. It's fine. It's still like a month and a half out. <laughs> still like a month and a half out and I'm making these plans, but it's fine. One way or another, baby, I'm gonna be seeing that movie. Eating popcorn out of Freddy Fazbear's head. Out of Freddy Fazbear's he head. I do hope they have clutter of popcorn bowls. That'd be that'd be the funniest thing ever. I would take that. I would. I would. <laughs> if I ever moved house, I would move house with the Freddy Fazbear head bucket. It'd be so funny. It might not happen. I want it to, though. I need to mark that down. I'm not gonna say where we are anymore on the counter because then I feel like it's just even worse when I have to reset it. And I will have to reset it. Black bear, the most metal little fish. Oh. Swab? Oh. Alright, we gotta we gotta sprint our little our little butts back to back to CJ real quick. Oop. name for your angler sona yet I have I have fish to buy fish for you to buy I don't want to buy these fish I caught them confirm so It's good that I'm doing this too because I've spent so much money on flimsy axes <laughs> trying to get that golden axe recipe, man. So now I'm just I'm just making it back up. I'm making it back and nothing it'll be like nothing ever happened. And then eventually I'll also just have eventually I also just will get the golden axe recipe and it'll be a glorious day. Truly. Oh god. Okay. Like I mentioned, I'll have to reset it at some point. really starting to chug along there. <laughs> wow. It's like two FPS. That's fine. Why do I do this to myself? Why did I 
Why did I twitch there? Why did I why did I jump the gun? Got him. Of course, mackerel. Of course, mac or er, oh. That makes no sense. It makes no sense to me. I've been playing this game ever since release date. I still it still doesn't make any sense. Upstream from here. Oops. I didn't realize I accidentally ran through the flowers at some point. Whoop. See my bobber. See my bobber. Come on. Come on, fish. Notice me. See me. Still too far. That's fine. We go. Brr. Wee. Not quite. A little more. Bra. Oh, that was the fastest little bite ever. I hate it here. I hate it here. Wee. See me. See me. Don't see me. Throw in the towel for time. for a fishing rod. I haven't made one in so long. Alright, I need five tree branches and then an iron nugget. I can do that. Get something out. Ugh. Bright. Bright light. Also, look at my assortment of boba boba drinks that I got over the course of the summer festival. <laughs> I got so many. 
You can only get them during the summer festivals, though, so I gotta, I gotta get them while I can. Um, I'm running low on sticks. I never thought that would happen. Also, just regular wood. Insanity. Let's craft. Boom, boom. Brown. Keep crafting. All done. And I'll just put that there. That there, and put that there, and then I'll just put those away later. Mm. Got a fish up here, yes, we do. Boop, boop. Of course, mackerel. Of course, mackerel. Sharp. My skills are sharp. Nice. Okay. Big fish, big fish. Whoosh. One. Two biter. Okay. Oh. Red snapper looks pretty dapper. <laughs> so sorry. Let's just pop away. Let's just, uh, since we've got one here, put away these sticks and the iron. Works out pretty well that away. Alright. Fishy, fishy, fishies. Fishy, fishy, fishies. Hello. Whoop. Alright. It's a C bass. Or at least a C plus. Not bad, not bad. And we got him. Got a butterfly fish. Did it change from a cater from a caterpillar fish? It's, it's thrilling, mind-boggling questions that truly I don't have the answer for. Bing, Fish. Uh, fish. Oh, come on. You're lying to me. You are lying to me. <laughs> there you go. One. Two biter. Not bad. Give me the olive flounder. That's not the pits. I'll, is that like a joke about like olive pits? I don't know honestly. Some some of these jokes just land flat for me, 
even after all these years, just because I don't understand it. There might be some, like, translation things going on, too, because the game is originally Japanese. So if that's the case, fair enough. Do Japanese turkeys fly? Do, do American turkeys fly? I don't- I didn't think turkeys actually flew. Given the only turkeys I actually know are the really fat ones that are made to, uh, to be a Thanksgiving dinner. So... I need to my thumb slipped. I... okay. You know what, chat? I think that's where I'm gonna call it. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging about with me. Um, all jokes aside, I do need to, I do need to head out because it is getting late here, uh, and I've got work in the morning. Woo! Yay! Love that for me. Uh, boop. So thank you guys so much for hanging about. Whether you chatted, whether you lurked, whether you're here for the last five minutes, whether you're here for the last hour and 15 minutes. I love and appreciate you all the very same. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever that may be. Because time zones are weird and I never quite understand them. Um, according to the viewer count, there's not actually anyone here. Otherwise, I would probably do a raid for one Mr. Sneak Snag. So if you're watching, if you're watching this VOD, hey guys. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, Sneak Snag is doing a subathon right now that is uncapped. So either the, well, uncapped until the uh, his wife goes into labor. So the stream is either going to end when the time runs out or until the baby comes. So if you're watching this in the month of September, uh, chances are the live stream's still going on. Twitch.tv twitch.tv forward slash sneak snag give him a watch if he is still going if the baby is not here yet if the time is not run out uh, join us at the freaks join us in the freaks in the chat because it's a fun time uh, the mods are great and it's a fun time so make sure to check him out but until then i hope you have a lovely rest of your morning afternoon evening night wherever it may be because time zones are weird and i never quite understand them and i cannot remember if i already said that already the stream uh but yeah I hope you have a, I hope you have a lovely one. Make sure, make sure to come join me in Sneak's chat uh, because he's a great guy and he's going to be having a baby soon. That's wild. That's insane. But all right. Bye guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>
Still my withering heart Yearns for peace and mercy But I'm ready for revolution now So let the blood stain the ground burn 